Happy Monday. We are gonna be doing a why eat in a day today. So as you saw, we started the morning at the gym. Me and my husband, literally it's Monday. So we started this routine this morning. We woke up at six, we prayed Fajr, and then we walked to our neighborhood gym. It's like a 15 minute walk. So we walked there, had a workout, walked back home, you know, like shower, did the bed. I got ready for the day since I'm recording this video. Anyway, I was like, let me just go ahead and get ready for the day. It is 8 a.m. right now. We are about to have some breakfast. I'm not gonna sit and act like we do 6 a.m. you know, workouts every day and waking up that early. We really don't. But you know, he wanted to start like this new routine. I was like, well, I'm off of work. I finished work on Friday, you guys. I am I'm done now. If you're new to my channel, I was a teacher, a kindergarten teacher for two years, and I stopped working now that the school year is over because I'm having my baby in July. I am 31 weeks pregnant. I don't know how far along I'll be when you see this video, but currently I'm 31 weeks pregnant. So I am starting the stay at home uh, mom life. Yeah, I was like, I don't really have anything on my schedule. Like I'll just get up with you and we'll, you know, we'll see how this goes, this little routine. So, so far day one is going great. It always feels so good waking up early. I'm a morning person usually, so I love to be up. Anyway, so weather was beautiful. Went on our walk, went to the gym. Now we're home. We are going to make some breakfast. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. I don't really know yet what I'm going to make, but we are gonna make something. And then I feel like I need to like reintroduce myself. I feel like I'm a whole new person now <laughs> that I, you know, I don't work anymore. Like I just, I don't know, there's a lot to debrief. So let's make some breakfast and then we are gonna sit down and chat for a little. So the current vitamins that I'm taking is iron because I'm iron deficient. And then I take a vitamin D capsule once a week on like Sunday or Monday and then I take my prenatals every single day I take those in the evening though I don't I don't know why my doctor just told me to take iron in the morning and then my prenatals at night I was also told taking iron with orange juice is good so we are doing that that's no Breakfast is done. We have some avocado toast. I like to put cream cheese, avocado, and then egg, and a green smoothie. Guys, I do not know what happened to me earlier. It is 11 right now, so I think I made breakfast around, by the time I finished everything, it was like nine. Out of nowhere, I got so nauseous. I have not gotten nauseous this pregnancy. I was like, was it because I took like vitamin D and iron together? and like I didn't eat anything. That's the only thing that I did different or else I never usually get nauseous. Like I hadn't eaten to get nauseous. I, I don't know, it was weird. Um, so I put my smoothie in the fridge and we're good now. I just sat there and took like a little nap and, and now we're good and we're back in the rhythm. I didn't even finish my breakfast toast but I'm not gonna eat that now, it's kind of old. I feel like I need to like reintroduce myself now to you guys because we are in a new beginning, a new start. So if you are new here, my name is Zana. I am 23 years old and I am currently pregnant. I am 31 weeks. I am having a little girl. I did my gender reveal over on Instagram if you wanna go see and on TikTok. My username on all my platforms is the same. It's all KG with Missy, which I should probably change that now. I just can't decide if I should change it to my name. I don't know. I don't know what to do about my username yet. If you have any ideas, you should let me know. I don't know, I might just change it back to my regular name, just like Zain el -Yassian. So we will see about that, but yeah, my username is the same across all my platforms. I am also married. I got married two years ago to my husband. He is like my best friend. He works from home actually, so he's over in his office getting work done. What kind of got like my career on social media going for me was just one day I randomly put like a TikTok of me doing one of my students' hair in class. I didn't think anything of it when I posted it and it literally had gone completely viral. Like it went really viral. And then after I was like, oh, okay, like let me do it again, um, blah, blah, blah. And I kept doing it. And I, then I just kept posting teacher stuff and people really liked it on social media. And fast forward a year and a half and now I'm where I am with my platform. So I don't really know where I'm gonna be going with it now. I mean, obviously mom content, like mommy stuff, but you know, that was what really got it going for me was my teaching stuff. So now that I'm not doing that, we are gonna, <laughs> have to take it day by day to see what you guys like to watch. I'm trying to think what else I would say to introduce myself. So I bought banana bread mix a couple days ago. This is my favorite one that's like store-bought. Um, I've personally never made it homemade, um, but I love to make this. So I'm about to make a loaf of it because I like to just keep it out during the week. You know, if I'm hungry during the day or for like breakfast, I like to just grab it and it's really good. And I like to add chocolate chips in it and some like nuts and 
I even add banana in it. I actually have like um, some bananas that are getting dark. So I add those in it, you know, like I spice up the box mix. Okay, the banana bread is in the oven right now. It'll be ready in a little bit. I also started boiling pasta because I wanna make pasta salad. I love pasta salad, and I love that it's something that can just be prepped in the fridge and just stay there, and I can snack on it whenever I want. And you could say it's healthy, right? It has like veggies in it and stuff. It's just a nice, easy, quick thing to grab. Um, so I'm gonna bake the pasta. Then I need to go run an errand really quickly, so that will give it time to cool, and then I'll assemble it and eat some lunch. I think that will be lunch, maybe. Um, but yeah, I told myself when I stopped working, I was going to really get into cooking more because I love to cook, but I never have time after work. I'm so tired and stuff. So I'm going to be using these two months before baby to really like dive into cooking and try new things and just have fun with it. Okay, you guys, horrible lighting, but we are off to the next stop. Um, I am going to do a few errands. Ignore my back seat. That's still stuff from my classroom that I need to go drop at my parents' house for my sister because she is, you know, she's taking all the stuff from my classroom. Um, so yeah, we are off. You are going to love what you see. Okay, you guys, just got home. This was the banana bread. I'm about to cut a slice because I'm so hungry. And then I have some pasta that finally cooled and we are gonna make some pasta salad. And that is gonna be lunch today, I think. Um, just something slight, pasta salad and banana bread until dinner. I just had a small piece of the banana bread. It was actually really good. The chocolate chips on top are just like perfect. So I need to not eat it all. I'm just gonna take half of another piece. Oh God. Now for my pasta salad, I like to put like cucumber, um, I have banana, pe not banana peppers, bell peppers, um, some mozzarella cheese, olives, you know, just a mix of different stuff. Where'd you go? I went to, um, I went to the mall and then a Target pickup. Mm. Hey. Mm. Good? Okay, mm -hmm. what do you rate it out of 10? <clears throat> Tell them what you rate it. Um, 9.5. There we go. Uh -huh. And done. And then I just keep it in the middle. Okay, this is lunch, the other half of the banana bread and some pasta salad. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I don't know why my volume cut off on this part of the video, but I was trying to show you guys what I got in the mail. A package came in. The first thing I got was the Dada book because no one bought it off my registry, which was so funny to me. And the mama and baby book got bought. So I ended up buying the Dada book, you know, being a good wife. And then I got these two onesies. They're called magnetic mini onesies. Really cool. Um, and then lastly, I got this ointment that's supposed to be like really awesome. After laying everything together, this is what it looks like. It is so pretty, you guys. Okay, let me tell you, I am so shocked right now. I totally guessed the pan size. I guessed how many potatoes I need, tomatoes and zucchini, right? I didn't even use a whole zucchini. I didn't use the whole amount of meat. I just kind of guessed everything. I kept the extra meat for something else I want to cook later, but I guessed everything and it was perfectly the amount I needed. Like, I think I literally had maybe one or two potato slices left over and I'm just going to eat it but I'm just so shocked because it fit perfectly in this pan. Look how pretty this dish looks. Ugh, it was so easy. It's literally just sunny at gefta, however you make it, however your mom makes it, but instead of flattening everything and just layering it like that, you do it like this instead. Um, so yeah, we are gonna bake this for a little bit. And then after I bake it for a little bit, I'm gonna pour the tomato sauce mixture on it. That's what my mom said to do, so I'm gonna do that. Um, but yeah, I am excited to bake it in a little bit and see how it tastes. Okay, guys, I have to show you what came in the mail. I ordered a mini fan off of Amazon because the heat, not only the heat this summer, it's hot for everybody, but like being pregnant, it's extra hot. I actually can't breathe. Last night we went to a graduation party thing and it was at a house and there was just so many people in the house. I was so hot, I literally could not breathe. 
And she, one of my friends had a portable fan and she let me borrow it. And I was like, okay, I need one immediately. So I went online and ordered this one and it has like five different settings. Ugh, it just feels so good. This is gonna be so nice in the summer heat. And it's aesthetic, we love aesthetic. And I can just put it in my purse, take it with me and I don't have to worry about sweating because I'm gonna have my fan on me. Hurry, help me. Put mustard on it, I don't know. I thought flour, I feel like I've heard Baba say to put flour. What? Has Baba put- Oh, he puts my- Look at this. What? I took out these <clears throat> strawberries because I'm cleaning out the fridge right now. What? Look at that. <gasps> <laughs> Ew! That's disgusting. Hold on. Decline. Hamad is calling me because I told him, what do I do about my finger? Let me add him. Help me with my finger. What do I do? First of all, you gotta be fucking stupid to burn your finger out. Oh. I forgot the pan was in the oven and I burned my finger. So you grab the hot pan out of the oven. That yeah. Ow, oh, it hurt. We usually do a uh, baby powder. Wet baby powder. Wet baby. I, I, I wet my finger under the sink and I put flour. Uh, flour or tomatoes is cool. Tomatoes? Okay, you guys, this is the final result after it is baked with the sauce and everything on top. And we are going to eat it with some bread. Bye. Okay, you guys, it is a 39. Um, we got home from the park, me and my sister went and we took my nieces to play a little bit. I just made an iced coffee for fun because why not? Um, I just wanted a little something to sip on for the night. And then, yeah, that's basically what I eat in a day. It's kind of different every day being pregnant some days. Some days I literally like just don't eat. I'll have one meal the whole day probably. Um, other days I do eat, I try to you know, pick nutritious meals. Now, especially that I'm home, I can do that. And I have the time to like prep stuff and, you know, f uh, put more um, nutrition and care into the meals I eat. So I'm excited to be home and kind of exploring different things and cooking new things. Um, tomorrow, I don't really know what I'm gonna cook, but I did take out, I'm gonna take out two of these almond croissants because they're really good and you're supposed to let them sit out overnight. So I will eat one in the morning and then one for my husband. Um, so I'm gonna take out two of these. And yeah, that is basically it. Every day is a little different, but I hope you guys enjoyed this what I eat in a day at 31 weeks pregnant, and I will see you in the next video.